The A380 is in huge trouble. From its technical issues to airlines' harsh decisions that were made towards the aircraft, this is the terrifying reality of the Airbus A380. And we must start with the EASA's airworthiness order, as they demanded that parts of A380s be changed. EASA revealed that the evacuation slides of old A380s, or of the A380s that haven't been restored for a long time, should be replaced. Even though this maintenance was important, it created problems for airlines as it was both expensive and time-consuming. But even though airlines were willing to do as instructed, several more A380 issues got in the way. British Airways, for instance, has been unable to fix or replace the A380's broken business class seats due to worldwide supply chain issues. Emirates also faced A380 challenges as they noticed several cracks on the aircraft's wing spar. Although Airbus sent several engineers to fix the cracks, it was still very expensive and time-consuming, which ultimately made Emirates bring A380s back to the skies. But even after everything airlines have been through, it still wasn't their first choice to bring A380s to the skies. When Airbus announced that they were done producing A380s, many airlines decided to retire the gas-guzzling super jumbo jet. But after the pandemic ended, a great increase in capacity demand occurred. This left airlines with no choice but to reuse the A380s. Even though A380's outdated features made some airlines skeptical to do this, over 70% of the original A380 operators still decided to fly this giant. Isn't that incredible? But that's not all, because since there were so many A380s whose maintenance was quickly required, airlines even found a genius way to solve this issue. Airlines were happy with the global demand increase, but it also meant that these airlines that needed to restore the A380s had to put twice the effort in to make it happen. So for this reason, many decided to outsource the maintenance, with Emirates being one of them. Since Emirates is the largest A380 operator, it's no surprise that they had the most work to do. But for the first time ever, the UAE airline's massive facilities shockingly revealed that they can't carry out the maintenance service of the aircraft. So they reached out to other facilities for help, and the German firm Lufthansa Technik came running to service the airline's 119 Airbus A380 fleet. But even though airlines found ways to put A380s in the air, its days are still numbered. The Super Jumbo Jet stole many hearts upon its release, but now there are new aircraft that offer way more value than the A380 ever did. And looking at the features of these next-gen jets, you'll see what I'm talking about. Starting with the new twin engines, they're replacing the quad-engine planes, like the A380s. Although four engines seem more powerful than two, these double engines found in the latest aircraft are no joke. It's packed with power and goes over incredibly long distances, which will put a quad-engine aircraft to shame. But the best part is that it can run on one engine for a good six hours if the other one fails, which clearly is an impressive feature. But that's not all, because besides the engine, new planes such as the 787 Dreamliner also have other exciting features. From having dimmable windows to heads-up displays to laminar flow surfaces, the features seem endless. The A350 also shares similarities with the Dreamliner, but also has some unique features of its own. The A350's interior has the best cabin pressure of any aircraft, which will keep the passengers refreshed all through the flight. It also has a brake to vacate function and the airport navigation function to make flying convenient for pilots. Clearly, it sets itself way ahead of the A380. And since this makes A380s out of date, airlines even decided to make major moves towards these next-gen jets. The German group Lufthansa decided to order about 108 next generations of long-haul aircraft, such as Dreamliners and A350s, whereas Air India ordered 470 next-gen aircraft from both Airbus and Boeing. United has also placed orders for about 200 Dreamliners along several other next-gen aircraft. This level of purchase shows airlines' intention towards the future of aviation, which, even though is understandable, it's sadly very unfortunate for the A380. And airlines like Lufthansa have already revealed this pretty bluntly. Despite its plan to return six A380s to the skies by 2024, Lufthansa still declared that the A380 will not be part of its long-term future in order to modernize its aircraft fleet. The same goes for Qatar Airways as well, as their CEO made it very clear that the A380's return is only temporary and they won't hesitate to wheel the aircraft back to the hangars once their A350s are fixed or other replacements arrive. 
Now, since I personally traveled in the A380's Q suite, I can confidently say that this is quite heartbreaking. But as sad as this might seem, things aren't over for this aircraft. Because it turns out there's still one more hope which can make the A380's shine. Most A380s would currently have been in the scrapyard, since several airlines already ordered these new-gen jets in large numbers. But clearly, that's not the case, because it turns out there were several issues that affected the next-gen jet's deliveries, which left airlines with no choice but to use the A380s. Take Boeing's 787 Dreamliner, for example. It's already faced several issues which affected deliveries, one of them being an analysis error Boeing noticed on a fuselage component. And so they immediately stopped deliveries in order to resolve the issue. Another thing that didn't help was in May 2021, when Boeing had stopped deliveries due to problems with incorrect spacing in some of the parts of the Dreamliner, and fuselage issues among several others before it got cleared in August of 2022. This same fuselage issue had already occurred in 2020 as well, which had led to a five-month stop on deliveries. Due to this repetition, the aircraft has experienced extreme delays. And although it's terrible for Boeing and for the airlines who are expecting deliveries, it's definitely good news for the Airbus A380. But the Dreamliner is not the only aircraft that has given the A380 another lifeline. The twinjet 777X is another jet that's expected to be a major part of many airlines, as it's the perfect replacement for the A380s. Due to this, several airlines have already placed large orders when it was launched. But from the delayed first flight to its engine issues, then to certification process, the delivery was meant to start in 2021 has been moved several years already. According to Boeing, no airline will receive the 777X earlier than 2025. And airlines like British Airways, which came late to the party, won't get their aircraft anytime before 2026. Oof, bad for Boeing. But good for Airbus and the A380. <laughs> Wonder where I've heard that before. Anyways, and due to these delays, the A380s are flying everywhere, even to places where they're not supposed to go. With the increase in flight demands, airlines needed to pull in all their resources to satisfy customers. That's why most of them have pushback sentiments and have begun using A380s everywhere, even for short routes. Qantas has resumed the Super Jumbo Jet's flights from Sydney to Auckland. Along with this, Korean Air also announced that it'll resume the use of A380s for flights between Seoul and Taipei. Clearly, another opportunity for the A380s to shine, which means another win for Airbus as well. But it turns out, the A380 is not the only thing that's shining. The A350 has also become a sensation in the aviation market, due to its new and unique features, so much so that it's even brutally destroying its competitors. But how is the Airbus A350 doing this? And what are these unique features that's setting it apart from its competitors? I know you want to know more about this, so just click this video right here.